What's up, nerds? Welcome to a Let's Pod and Play. Ed and I are here again to show you Super Nintendo Classic. This episode is dedicated specifically to Star Fox 2. The never released Super Nintendo game until now. This is the first time you can buy it legitimate. Uh, I cannot wait to see how this game runs on the Super Nintendo. I watched a little bit of this on Game Informer's Replay. Yes. I, I know I mentioned that show a lot, but I really love the way they, they produce that show, and that's kind of what I want Let's Pod and Play to be at some point. Uh, just, I mean, we've been doing a pretty decent job just because of our living situations where Ed lives really far away from me, and you know, we use Skype and a bunch of things that you're not seeing right now because we want to do these <laughs> like right now uh, but at the same time it's like I love the way they do that show and that game looked really cool in the fact of like from like a technological standpoint from the 90s that this game was actually running on Super Nintendo so yes. Ed let's get right into this Star Fox 2 jargon everybody Star Fox. Oh man, just what from what I've heard, just be glad, glad you're watching it and not playing it. <laughs> uh, technological marvel for sure on Super Nintendo, but here there's space dragons in this game. Space dragons? There it is! Dragon! Reminds me of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Look at that thing. It just ate a ship. What? What is going on? I'm really confused right now. Uh, we this is this is literally the first time Ed and I have booted this game up. We have never played it. We played a little bit on the previous episode of Star Fox One. We played the first level, uh, but this is totally different. If you didn't watch that episode and this is your first time watching Star the Star Fox Two Let's Play, Star Fox Two took the concept of Star Fox 1 with the polygonal stuff uh, running on Super Nintendo, a special FX chip that allowed it to have more processing power in the cartridge, Gate took took Star Fox off the on-rails, took it off the rails, and put it in open-world environments, and kind of made it mission-based, where uh, a lot of people say that DS game, Star Fox Command, mm -hmm. This is a lot like Star Fox Command, where it's more mission-based, and you can kind of choose whatever planet you want to go to from time to time, and it actually changes the outcome on the different planets, similar to uh, what we were talking about with Mega Man X, where it actually yes. changes things in the environment and changes the way you need to play. So uh, you have to play Corneria first, but after that you can go to any of the planets you see on the screen right now uh, and kind of go at it. So. Ed, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Let's just jump in and, and let's see what this game looks like, uh, or like the, the gameplay. I know, uh, you know, what's his name? The crime dog down there is uh, McGruff. What's his name? That's his name, right? So it looks like that you get the. Uh... Oh, you can select a pilot. Oh, that's the thing. I think each pilot has their own ability too, which was also something new for this. Or like in the first game, you definitely just played as Fox, but uh, and you pick a you pick a sidekick that will join you. Let's pick Peppy. We like Peppy. He's very wise. Press zero out twice. Do a better roll. Press zero out twice. I still want another episode of that anime. First, uh, oh, the Star Fox anime that came out with zero. Oh, that was phenomenal. Alright, the other thing that this game has, in Star Fox Zero, the little chicken walker, mm -hmm. that is also that is from this game. So you'll be getting out of your ship and walking around as that chicken walker. Wow. Oh, you're actually playing right now? I don't really know what's happening. Wow, that one missile did 
You need to get this one next, probably, right? Or not. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Oh, and Star Wolf is the enemy of this game, so. Whoa, this is weird. This looks like. This looks like some prototype uh, X Wing vs. TIE Fighters stuff. Gosh, this is such an interesting looking game. Graphics are pretty impressive, though. For a polygon, like trying to put pol polygons and pixels on the screen at the same time. How's it going there, Ed? <laughs> uh, uh, it's very weird. You can't do inverted controls with this. Oh, it's not inverted? Like Star Fox 1? I mean, it is, but you can't do it because you want to go and follow without without it being uh, on rails. You can't really do anything to... Uh, so that's why it feels weird because trying to hit the target and stuff game is super interesting. I didn't... This looks rough to do with the D-pad. I'm not gonna lie, that looks super rough trying to do it on a D-pad. Andros. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Job, you got an E. Hey. <laughs> oh man. Well, it's weird because you want to follow where that direct where where it is where the arrow's at, but because it's in, it's inverted, when you're trying to go there, you're doing inverted control, so you're going down. Oh, because it's like the opposite. It's the opposite. So you need a control scheme to follow it. To make it easy, right? Is there like a control? Yeah, option? it was it was a control thing. No, I mean, is there like a controller option? Yes. Uh... This is weird. Cool, but it's weird. It's like, man. So I, even though I didn't change it, uh, I'm gonna see when I go. Man, this is so Graphically, it's impressive. Yes. Uh, I can't believe they got this running on Super Nintendo. Okay, so now I'm going to a carrier. Let's see if it goes back to. It's easy when they fly right in front of you. <laughs> right.
Where are you going? Oh, now it's like Star Fox. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so this is obviously the chicken walker part. Um, this part's kind of cool. Okay, why is the chicken? Sounds like Zelda. <laughs> This is kind of cool, though. How does how does this part feel? This part feels better. See, when it does that, it feels better. That's cool. This is this is a strange one. The map is I that map is Okay, so the way I understood it this they didn't Okay. It's the first person perspective that's throwing me off with the inversion. That's great clear time, Ed. Great clear time. Woo! Yeah. Um. I thought there was like planet surface based stuff. I don't know, maybe that's like later after you do all this stuff. I don't know, I think maybe we would have been super impressed by this game if this came out in, what, 1996, I guess it would have been, right? Yeah. But it looks like a lot of the stuff kind of made it into uh, Star Fox 64. Like shooting the homing missiles, the open area stuff. You know what this kind of reminds me of is the open parts of uh, Rogue Squadron. Ooh. Wow. Like, you know, like the space stuff in Rogue Squadron? Mm -hmm. It's kind of what this reminds me of. Rogue Squadron is better. Dragons! Fight the space dragon, Ed. Fight the space dragon. What's your favorite Star Fox game, Ed? Uh. The regular Star Fox. The, super, the original? The original one? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I didn't play the uh, one for GameCube. Uh, that uh, Star Fox Adventures was terrible. Um. I have Star Fox Zero. I apologize, everybody still haven't played that one, but I'm ready to play that. Uh, but just the original Star Fox, like spending, like I said, spending that four hours, dedicating time playing it, and you know, dying, dying and stuff, but always, but you know, being hooked to go back and play more of it. Yeah, I. Uh, uh, dang it. I mean, that original Star Fox game was pretty impressive for how big it was, too. Like, not only did it do all of these cool things with polygons and 3D and stuff, 
but it was a long game. Like, it was a pretty beefy game. Yes. For the time. Uh, for me, I think Star Fox 64, just because that was, like, my first experience with Star Fox. I've never played the 64, thank you. Oh, that's really good. It's the version, it's the game that everybody wishes Star Fox Zero was, but didn't quite get there. And, like, Star Fox Assault, to an extent. Uh, it had branching paths, and you could play... It, I mean, I think the Super Nintendo had this a little bit, too, where, like, if you did the mission in a certain way, you got one ending to the mission, and then you beat it a different way, you got a different uh, ending to the mission, and then, depending on which one, was the path that you took to the next planet. Uh, and, like... It was cool because you got a generalized story with, like, mission completed uh -huh. uh, in Star Fox 64, but there was also, you wanted to get mission accomplished, not mission completed. Uh, and it would take you and give you a more in-depth story to Star Fox, which was cool because, like, there's this whole backstory between behind Star Wolf and Peppy used to be Fox McCloud's dad's partner, and that's why he's part of Fox's uh, uh, group. And, you know, they end up like, kind of finding Fox's dad when they go, like, if you do all the mission accomplished, if you do that route, yeah. like, you find Fox's dad stuck on the planet before you get to Andross. And then he ends up helping you fight Andros at the end, which is really cool. Ah. So it's like five ships instead of four, uh, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, man, just the different ways you could tackle the missions. Some of the open world stuff, some of the tank stuff was pretty cool. Uh, the submarine stuff wasn't too great, but the flying stuff was awesome and the Landmaster stuff was really cool. I would really like to see someone tackles Star Fox where similar to like I would say like a mix between Rogue Squadron and Mass Effect almost Ooh, that'd be interesting. where like you could go explore all these different solar systems and like gather resources to upgrade your ships and stuff uh. and then you could land on the planets and either go on foot or by Landmaster like the tank or something and maybe have a little bit of Star Fox Adventure style thing to it, where like you go into these caverns and, fi and find stuff to upgrade your ship and stuff and maybe battle a boss, but then go back into space and do these cool uh, spaced out missions from Star Fox 64. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. So, I mean like I know people want us, like they expect a Star Fox way game to be a certain way but you look at the way they're doing uh, Zelda you know, Breath of the Wild was like way different than than traditional Zelda, and then you look at Mario Odyssey, how big that game is, and how they're kind of redefining a traditional Mario game. I think Star Fox would benefit from that change, just because like Star Fox Zero didn't light the world on fire. Nobody really cared for the GameCube ones. The DS ones were okay, but not great. You know, everybody loves either original Star Fox or Star Fox 64, and I really think Star Fox, maybe more than any other franchise, would benefit from that kind of Breath of the Wild overhaul, where you, you're you changing the definition of what Star Fox is. You know, you still still have your ship battles, you still have your... your uh, you know, your, your wingmen, you still have those open areas where you're trying to take out a base in your ship, but you could also tackle it a different way. You could tackle it multiple ways. You could land in on Chicken Walker and infiltrate stealth, stealthily. You could uh, loot nearby caves to get cool cool weapons for your ship, upgrade your ship, you know, mm -hmm. and, and maybe have light RPG elements to where you're upgrading your ship that way. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, do you want to? You want to try one more? Oh, is, are you at a new level? Uh, yeah, I didn't get him. So I'm gonna try one more uh, time. Man. It's really difficult when he's flying everywhere because you don't. Uh, you really can't tell. Uh, 
if you're hitting him or not. Mm -hmm. And I know it says, well, you got to press the buttons to avoid the... Well, I'm just like, well, we can't tell. Because, uh... Just, it, the, can, the controls seem really obtuse. Yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe they... Honestly, you know what could have happened? I wonder if they were planning on using the mouse from Mario Paint for this. Ooh. For like the direct precision controls. Like, I, uh, for some reason, like, I remember playing X Wing vs. TIE Fighter with the mouse. And that's what this reminds me of. And like, I wonder if they were gonna include a mouse with this. <gasps> hmm. I just, I, like, this feels like a game that we're, this would be the only other game to require the mouse. That is true. Like, I, wow. Revelation, man. Oh. You heard it here first. Star Fox 2 probably needs a mouse. <laughs> oh, man. My brain just had a good idea. Write that down, everybody. Corey had a good idea. <laughs> Oh man. I'm glad we're taking a look at this game though. Definitely one of Nintendo's most more interesting projects. That's interesting. So, I beat him this time. So it looks like with him, it's like just use your charge shot. <laughs> yeah, that's kinda what it looks like, so. You want to wrap up this? Let's let's pod and play for the Super Nintendo Classic, yeah, Star Fox that. Two. So, yes. all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is a look at Star Fox Two specifically. If you want to check out some of the other games, we did do a, a let's play of those games. We took we did Super Mario Kart, Star Fox One, Mega Man X, Secret of Man Mana, Contra Three, Contra Three. So, you know, we we wanted to give some lesser played games more of a shout out. Uh, more than like Mario World, Zelda, that kind of stuff. Yes. Maybe we should do one on Yoshi's Yoshi's Island too. Uh, I love but, Yoshi's Island. Uh, remember to download our family of podcasts: NGR Radio, Pow Block, Nerds Gone Platinum, Arsenal X, World One One, Brew Review, Matt and the B Flats. We got a lot going on. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching it there. Pretty excited. Um, you know, Ed and I. We're, we're trying to fit a lot in. I'm glad he's here. This is this <laughs> honestly makes Let's Pot and Play a lot easier when you're here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and the fact that my wife is now out of the house. <laughs> so, um, anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Download our podcast. And until next time, we love you. Woohoo, everybody.